Well, folks, good afternoon, good day to all of you. I hope you're all keeping safe and healthy and not too bored. Oh, I thought I'd just do a bit of an update on what I've been doing the last few days. I think you've seen most of it. Now, my, what I class as my main crop, eating onions there. I'm coming along nicely now, look, I just need this. What I will be doing is going through them all and taking off that leaf. That obviously, as you can see, is a seed leaf. So that will die. So may as well just take it off now when I get round to them. I might even have to put these in little clips and supports. But there is a lot there. And I am thinking that eventually, as in soon, I will be running out of room. So I'm going to move my onions into work down this side where I put my big onions. And solely that'll just be onions then. But the plan is, excuse the seeds, I must put some more oil. <laughs> uh, plan is another two or three weeks time I will take them down the allotment and just put them in my cold greenhouse they'll be all right so and then I've sowed the leeks I've sowed all my chilies now so I've potted all my chilies now repotted them up looks like I've lost one or two which is what I always do because maybe some of them was a bit weak to pot on so, but I have re-sowed some, and I've re sowed some different ones. I think I showed some, shown you the other day, tepping, teeping, tepping. So, me pepper seeds are just about ready now to be potted up. There's the first batch that I sowed. There we go. Now there should be twenty. But I have actually got 5, 10, 15, 18. So, two out, two misfire, which is a bell boy. It's not too bad. I can live with that. And then on these, which was sowed two days later, they need watering the fields on it. That sows. Again, 20 in there, and I've got 4, 7, 10, 12, 16. So it's 4 not germinated, but they are behind the first one. So there's still time for the remaining ones to germinate. So, but I'm running out of pots. I even bought some more of the square ones. I think these are three inch. No, they're roughly two and a half inch. Yeah, two and a half inch square. And I say I can get 15 of these into a seed tray. But I do need 15 for me. Second, these other, French pink rose onions. So I have got some more round ones on order, but when they arrive, who knows? So I'm gonna have to double think because obviously putting chilies in these is too big to start with. They would make the second potting or some round ones, but not just yet. So that's that. I've had a bit of a clear out with my seeds. And some here, there you go, some here, which will be going in the bin. Because I'm not, there's this one here, I've not even opened it. Giant cabbage. Supposed to be a giant, well, obviously a giant cabbage. But last year, yeah, it is last year, isn't it? I bought giant cabbage, giant tomato, giant cucumber, 
I think that's it from the same supplier not one germination I did make contact and they said that I was either sowing them wrong or the compost was no good that I was putting them in and as we all know compost does not mean anything when you are sowing your seeds it's only after once have germinated when your compost should be better and with nutrients in it uh, so there's those lettuce marvel of four seasons we grew some last year didn't eat it wife says no don't like it before she ate it so they're gone some celeriac whoops I keep forgetting you can't see <clears throat> they're gonna go didn't do very good with them um, some more winter cabbage didn't do any good falco turnips there's not many in there I think they are or December December 19, well, I've got loads of them, and then I sowed some of these the other year, and why I keep them I do not know, shallot, the uh, banana shallot, zebrun, zebruna, zebrun, that's in there, not one germinated, so I don't know why I kept them, <coughs> excuse me, so, in job done pointless keeping seeds if they don't germinate if you, you can keep trying and trying and trying and if they're not viable you'll get nothing so anyway that's that and I've also bought myself in actual fact I've got another 10 of my seed storage boxes here you see them all now at the back one pound I think we're a pound each. I have got the bill somewhere. By multiples of 10. The problem is, the st um, storage. The postage is nearly four pound. But, uh, they, I like it the way I do. And then now, if I, I've not finished these off, there's one beetroot, parsnip, chili, pepper. I can just go straight to them instead of keep taking one out and one out so I know what's what so that's about it now I have been asked by one or two people can you make your videos longer um, yes and no I can make them longer while I've got something to do whereas today you don't want to see me putting labels on storage boxes uh, just fiddling and farting about you don't need it you've got better things to do but if I'm transplanting and do it you only want to see me do two or three maximum and you've all done it or you only need to know how it's done once but if there's something a bit more shall we say not intricate intricate it's a bit different i.e when i come to make uh, pot up my big onions next time i do use one or two more com uh, fertilizers in there i'll let you know what i use i've only copied it from another youtuber a guy called dan dan's allotment who I picked up loads of tips and bits of information from him, especially on the onions and giant veg. I've done the long carrots, I think I've said before, and the long parsnips. Done them, didn't really eat them. What's the point? A lot of asshole and expensive buying the special compost that you used to get Levington's F2 plus S plus sand civet all sorts and way out composts to every 10 litre batch and 
fill up tubes and put the seeds in on the top and wait. First, was it the first? Maybe the second year we did it. Absolutely fantastic. I had carrots, three, three and a half foot, and the same with parsnips. But once you've done it once, you've done it, and that's it. So, but this year I will be growing more into the higher raised beds. I've got these pallet collars. Last year my carrots I put three high, but basically it was only two high full. But I had great carrots from them. No carrot fly and nothing. But I also put the Enviro mesh around them. Now I I bought them. They've already got canes on, so you all cut to height, about two foot. <coughs> Excuse me, and just pull them in tight. And if you ain't got enough, you use two. A bit expensive, but well worth doing. So I'll be doing that again, and I will be doing that. I'll be doing parsnips. We don't eat many, there's only the two of us. So, you know, if, if, you, if I grew 20. 25 parsnips that is more than enough for a winter supply because who, who wants to eat parsnips in the summer parsnips soup roast parsnips no not me but there you go so that's that for now so i am now going to go and get myself a cup of coffee because i don't drink tea i do but i forget the last time i had a cup of tea years ago now just coffee seems my thing um again if you've enjoyed this video oh yeah it's all about making longer and shorter and all that so do me a favor and when you please leave a comment and suggest how long you think a video should be if you don't think i should be doing them just say don't do any more and that'll be fine with me. Um, I have watched, there is one particular gentleman and his videos are around an hour, if not longer. Luckily, there's no advert, else it'd take a day to watch. But I normally watch that in um, installments over about a four day period. Because sometimes just sitting watching the same thing over and over again I may as well watch something good on the telly, which is not very often. So, so if you just leave a little comment and a suggestion on how long you think a video should be. <laughs> right, so if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you've subscribed, thank you very kindly. All appreciate the new subscribers and old got a little figure in my head of how many subscribers I would like to get to and then I think I'll be as, as happy as anything I don't want thousands of subscribers I don't just the ones who want to watch not people who just subscribe some people might subscribe just so they've subscribed so I suppose now I'm going to lose some uh, subscribers but tough luck uh, and if you've not subscribed it would be very appreciated if you hit the subscribe button and always so everyone's always telling everyone hit the bell icon so you get notified when if you don't want to watch it you cancel so right then folks I think that's way too way enough now just for a chat so I will see you all again soon hopefully Take care, be safe, and watch what you're up to. Right then, guys, thanks a lot, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers now. Bye.